today we will be building the Strand Beast model kit. This build is divided into four sections, each containing numerous steps. Cut off the rubber feet in sections. You'll have 13 feet in all, but you will only need 12 for the build. Also take a moment to distinguish the difference between part A and part B, as part A has a tiny little place to attach the rubber feet. For step one, you will take the rubber feet and insert them into the little clip on part A so that it looks like this. Step two is going to involve part B and part C. Take the larger joint of part C and attach it to part B so that the notches line up and then twist it 90 degrees. Step three is going to involve taking part D and attaching it to the flip side of the part that you just used. Once again the joint should line up and you rotate it 90 degrees. And that concludes step three. For step four, you are going to take the original part A that we were working with using the little rubber foot and attach this little part with the notches to part D and twist upwards so that the remaining notches attach to part C, creating a lovely little trapezoid. For step five, you are going to repeat the preceding process until you have 12 assembled parts just like this. In this section, you're going to be making this piece of the robot body. You'll be making two of those, and to make one, you will need four frames, six legs, a crank, and your various action rods. For step one of section two, take the frame and make sure the protrusions are facing away from you. Make sure the protrusion on the crankshaft is also facing away from you, and snap the two together. And this concludes step one of section two. For step two of section two, you're going to take one of your legs and attach it to the frame via the largest joint so that it looks like this. Next, you're going to take the larger action rod, part E, and attach it to the leg and snap it onto the crankshaft thusly. For step three of section two you're going to need part F and another leg. Now we differ from the providing instructions just a little bit. We suggest you go ahead and attach part F to the leg before attaching it to the other side of the frame via the larger joint. It just proves a little easier. Once you've done that, connect part F to the axle so that it is in front of part E. For step four of section two, you're going to take another action rod, part F, and attach it to the lower joint of the right leg. Then you're going to snap part F onto the crank, just as you've done in previous steps, making certain that this particular one is in the front. All right, robot builders, for the next step, step five of section two, you're going to take another action rod, action rod part E, thank you, and attach it to the upper joint of the left leg. And then, just like in all the previous steps, snap that on to the crank, making sure that this part is in front of all of the others. Alright, this is just a special note. For the previous steps 2, 3, 4, and 5 in section 2, we've attached four different action rods, making sure that each rod following the next goes in front, meaning the furthest away from the frame that it can go. For step 6 of section 2, take one of the remaining frames 
Position it so that it lines up with the frame you already have attached to the two legs and sandwich the two legs together between these parts making sure that the center of the frame snaps to the crank. For the next step you're going to repeat steps 2 through 6 mentioned in section 2 until you have all of the legs attached. Congratulations, you have completed section two. On to section three. David, get out of the frame. <laughs>